Welcome back to the bubble ladies and gentlemen and Kozaks 3 we are playing 2 versus 2 multiplayer today 15 minutes peace time and basically everything allowed except capturing peasants it's going to be very interesting I think uh, the only set civilization was Ukrainian steel who plays as Switzerland I will be playing as Portugal and my friend will play as Venice uh, in the lobby we could see that basically everyone was at 30 or 40 wins except for uh, Getman, the uh, host, who had uh, just over 400 wins. So most likely it's going to be a pretty one-sided uh, one one -sided game, but who knows, maybe he uh, accumulated these, uh, these 400 wins over like a 15 year period. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Starting with 5k resources, so of course it's a um, it's a race up to the um, up to the marketplace, up to the double barracks, etc., etc. And two barracks. I wonder if that gives us. Yes, we can still afford the market there we go great stuff great stuff most likely it's a bit stupid already going for um, mines don't know why I'm doing that really feel kind of um, kind of uh, blurry mentally right now so I don't really uh, feel the plan you know I don't feel the plan. Destroy that storehouse because we're gonna get a new one anyway. And uh, of course, it's also really important to start recruiting as soon as possible. I will not be recruiting uh, pikemen. Uh, although I don't remember if Portugal has crappy pikemen or actually pretty decent one. It doesn't look like they have a breastplate, so they shouldn't have a lot of armor. Although maybe I am mistaken. Selling iron for wood and coal for stone. Oh, so close. There we go. Now we can make our third town hall. That's actually a pretty good timing, to be honest. But ran out of wood. So let's actually sell stone for wood. So that we can get two mines right here. Good. Eco on its way. Point wise, uh, we're doing all right, but Getman is streets ahead right now. Most likely a, ve a very good player. Because right now in the beginning, the marginal the margins are so 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 small. There we go, you're done with that one. Can we get an iron mine? Yes, we can. Let's see, I need to get another gold mine as well. 35 peasants, select you, go build a gold mine. And also we need to get that one upgraded as soon as possible. All right, damn. I've missed um, the academy. A thousand stone for that one. So let's see if we can just sneakily. There we go. Sneakily do some trading. And you go to the gold mine. Okay, at least we are producing peasants out of every town hall. So we got that going for us. Uh, maybe we should start building mines and things like that as well. First of all, send out some sentries to keep an eye on our on our um, 
borders and also capturing is available. So we do need to get some peasants actually, or some peasants, some pikemen. Some peasant pikemen. You look like it, you are up to no good. And what does it look like with our production? A lot of uh, 13 on stone, only four on wood. 5,000 food. There we go. That will increase our wood cutting capabilities. And you guys will start setting you out um, to guard the civilian buildings. And put my musketeers close to the borders. Uh, Ukrainian steel, 75 points. So I'm kind of doing all right compared to him at least. Uh, let's see, where was the other one? Up there. Out there. Up there. Okay. Artillery depot. Church. church. And food upgrades. There we go. I also saw that we got another gold mine right there, which I of course want to use. Now we need to get these upgrades as well. Very important. 3000 iron. And you will be num key five. 3000 iron. Come on, come on. Just sell stone until we get that 3,000 iron, and there we go. Increase our stone excavation um, speed by 100%. That's pretty good. Pretty decent speed. Wonder if it's worth it to start building walls, to be honest. We have six minutes of peace time left, and we absolutely need to get our hands on some sweet, sweet gold. So actually, I'm thinking to start sending all of my peasants from um, from the town halls instead of food going to um, going to stone, and also starting to upgrade the damage from my musketeers because that's going to be uh, very important. Also, I don't even have a stable yet. Wow! Just realized how many things I'm missing. You guard. Okay, what do we need? Still lacking gold. But our stone production is starting to um, increase quite a bit, which is good. And I will not be... Okay, I actually think that we might need to start building some towers just for the front lines. You, iron mine and coal mine, and now actually we're starting to um, be a bit thin on the food production site. Uh, sell stone, anything we can upgrade, firepower, that's of course stacking with the upgrades from the barrack. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, six grand for that one, need 30,000 food. Okay, let's go people, we need 30,000 food. We will never get there. <laughs> never, 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 never. So many things we need, you know. So many things, so little time. We can get that upgrade to increase our food production. 30,000 food and then we just need to sell our soul for some uh, gold to get the to get the balloon up and running because of course in my humble very unprofessional opinion visibility is uh, is key really for good strategy and to not get overwhelmed on all the wrong locations uh, still not close to being pop capped that's good and we are up to the 18th century right now. I really need to start putting some of my peasants into wood uh, production. I have eight. 
shopping for wood right now and 21 um, working on stone so okay now I need 5.7 grand really damn close and there we go actually I think it's a pretty good um, time to already be up to the balloon before even the peace time is up okay so here we go here we go uh, Ukrainian steel yeah he's rocking the uh, musketeers nothing really surprising there while as um, Getman is actually doing a pretty darn good job he's already up to the 18th century barracks which is pretty impressive uh, I need 4,000 gold can someone give me 4,000 gold no how much for this one 12,000 coal 12,000 coal Okay, at least we can start building the 18th century barrack right now, but we also need to get our hands on that coal, that sweet, sweet coal. Breathing in those fumes, digging for coal. And now, sell stone for gold, start upgrading these, these mines, man. There we go. Wait, do I actually have a stable already? How can I go up, how can I build an artillery depot? I don't have a stable. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, we have our towers up and running. That's good. We got that going for us. And so far, we are not attacked. But our ally is doing a solid push over here that's impressive I really hope that he wins because then we can like then we can start playing um, two against one and I think we have a better chance at winning that than we do two versus two because I really feel like I am streets behind right now I don't even know if I've occupied all the mines that I have within range doesn't look like it doesn't look like it and th this upgrade, 3,000 gold. And right, it was uh, this upgrade for the coal one. 12.5 grand. Food for coal. Now we just need the food. Man, I'm stupid with my trading. There we go. And then our stone production should just absolutely skyrocket. You will be locked to number one. And stable. I want to see what he's building, actually. He's making dragoons, round shears, pikemen? Huh. 18th century pikemen. I am stumped, to be honest. I am absolutely stumped. Flabbergasted, even. Also, I would like that upgrade so that I can build multi-barrel cannons. I think that would be a lot of fun. And no. You to stone. You to stone. Okay, wow. Great job. He has just completely overwhelmed the Ukrainian steel player. Which is great. Now I just need to um, live up to my end of the bargain. And... Uh, not die to brown basically there we go set up some multi-barrel cannons I think that would be a lot of fun because they're pikemen their pikemen don't have any armor basically they're 18th century pikemen that is let's see what do I need for that one 7,000 gold And just keep on selling stone uh, for gold so that I can keep on getting upgrades. Upgrading my mines all day, every day, all day. Okay, and you can actually start making some volunteers. I don't know necessarily if not having a bayonet makes gives them more damage. Actually, I will be taking a gander on that myself. 
you go to stone production you have 10 firing power you have 10 16 firing power okay so not going with the volunteers then you look cool you're a costume un custom uh, unit for this faction but you're weak as hell bro weak as hell okay let's see now i need to get a good eye on all of my military buildings or a good organization uh, so, my 17th century barracks are num locked to number one, and my stables are number two, and my 18th century barrack is number three. I'm thinking that it would be a fun idea to start getting some upgrades for the um, firepower, to be honest. Okay, Ukraine is rebuilt, or Switzerland, playing as Ukraine, is rebuilding. I'm just gonna do a bit of a just a start marching up my 18th century uh, musketeers. Is it just me or are those guys having a super slow recruitment time? I'll move up the multi barrel as well. There we go. Okay, now the 17th century musketeers are fully upgraded. And we have some stone stored up. Great. Upgrade the gold mines even more. Which, even more, meaning one time. And also I need to upgrade my coal mines as well so that I can get this upgrade. Which wasn't even necessary right now. Wow, I'm so out of sync with basically everything. So sorry about that. Okay. You are standing there. Multi-barrel cannons will be streets ahead. With streets ahead, I mean like a meter or two. For my American listeners, a meter is a little bit more than a yard. Okay, so that one should be... Okay, this one should be populated. Great, how far away from this one? 8,000 gold. Say no more. Now we just need some stone, like 5,900 worth. There we go. And I also need this upgrade so that we can get to building a lot quicker. Oh, how, what is that? Does that mean I only have four units producing food? That does not sound right at all. Keep on selling stone. To get this upgrade. There we go. Alright, he's done a great job at uh, walling in. I wonder if the multi-barrel cannon can shoot through that barricade. That would have been awesome. Uh, and right, I actually want to build some more artillery depot. Now that we have the uh, option. To build artillery it would be very uh, stupid not to take advantage of it, especially as it looks like our adversary is not taking advantage of it. Okay, you guys, uh, wood production. There we go. There we go. And now, again, sell some stone for gold. Uh, increase the firepower. Okay, you can't shoot through. Okay. Can we, however... Oh, damn. They're rocking the cannons. Okay, okay, okay. So that's what you're doing, huh? Then we're. I'm gonna go stupidly annoying on you. There we go. And you were number three... Idle peasants, how much for the next barrack? 16,000 gold. Do we have any more good... I mean, I can just throw all of them into stone production and just keep selling um, stone for gold until we maximize the gold mines. He is really building a lot of 18th century pikemen. Hmm. Huh. Huh. 
Okay, move you on to chopping some wood. And we also need to keep building houses. Doesn't look like everyone wants to build houses. I mean... I don't really... I understand that. It's hard labor building houses. It really is. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, still some mines that are not fully occupied. Keep on upgrading those mines as much as possible. He said, having not even built on all of his uh, mine locations. Uh, okay, there we go. Idle peasants into that mine. Idle peasants into that mine. Idle peasants build, first of all, a town hall. And then sell a bunch of stone for lumber because I do believe that that would give us the option to build another stable. And boy, was I right. Okay, so far. Oh my god, is he even seeing that? Okay, there we go. So he's moving in. Would be so nice to be able to help him. Like, even a little bit. Looks like he's doing a great job, though. But he really needs to start getting some catapults. I almost said, but I did not. Because I am smart, boy. Move up the mortars. And start shooting at the tower. Great stuff, great stuff. And you are idle. Can you build anything good? Need more wood. Hate it when that happens. Any stone excavation upgrades? No upgrades. Oh, what? Okay, right down in the corner. A gold mine that I hasn't that I haven't um, used. Where was the other mine that I didn't... Somewhere? Oh, there. I feel slow. Okay, let's keep on pumping out Dragoons. That's looking okay so far. We can build another stable and so we shall. Can we get any good upgrades? Like fire rate. Attack, bro. Okay. What the hell? What are you doing? I know you have the range for it. Okay. I do not want you to attack because you do not have the... Oh, right. He's actually attacking. We do have an opening right up here. And we can just get some more upgrades, great stuff. Uh, get all of you into stone for now. And right, now we're just gonna absolutely obliterate this upgrade button. Okay, can we, oh my God. Those um, cannons aren't that accurate, okay? Selling stone for gold. Uh, oh, look at that, victory. Uh, not in any way, shape or, for or form, thanks to me, not at all. I just wanna make that completely clear that Likosek actually uh, did everything. So proud of you, Likosek, and I'm very grateful to have you in my team. It was 32 minutes and 45 seconds in game time, that is, of pure joy. Hope you enjoyed it, the ones of you who watched um, the episode this far. And if you have any tips or tricks on Cossacks 3, please feel free to write them down in the comment section below. And also a big, humongous thank you to uh, the ones of you who subscribe to the channel.
big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, all of you have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode.